Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a WooCommerce Flying Cart plugin. This plugin will add a floating cart button on your WooCommerce website. Let me show you an example. In the bottom right hand corner, you will see this flying cart or the floating cart button. If I click on it, you will see the products which are already added into the cart. Currently, I have two products in the cart. At the top, you will see a link to go to the cart or you can go directly to the checkout page. These are the two products which are already added in the cart. If I want to increase the quantity, I can simply click on the plus sign and it will increase the quantity and you will see the increase in the amount also. I can also decrease it. If I want to delete the product from the cart, I can simply click on this cross mark and it will delete the product from the cart. Below that we have you may also like that is nothing but related products or the upsells. So you can also add related products or upsells and cross sales products directly into the floating cart. So here we have two products as related products. Below that we have a coupon section. If the customer has coupon, then they can add a coupon and apply the coupon. Then we have subtotal and total. At the bottom we have a button to go to the cart and a button to go directly to checkout. If I click on go to cart, it will go to the cart page. After that, I can go to checkout and complete the order. This floating cart button is fully customizable. You can change the colors and there are different settings that you can customize according to your requirement. The name of the plugin is WooCommerce Flying Cart. This is not a free plugin. This plugin will cost you only $19. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to buy this plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the free WooCommerce floating cart button. The name of the plugin is WPC Fly Cart for WooCommerce. This plugin has free as well as premium version. Definitely the free version has limited features and the premium version of this plugin will cost you around $29. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can watch this video and then compare this plugin with the WooCommerce flying cart plugin and then decide which plugin will be better option for your WooCommerce website. Now let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website and we will see how to install and use this WooCommerce flying cart plugin. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and this is a demo WooCommerce website. I have already downloaded and installed the plugin WooCommerce Flying Cart. Once you install this plugin, you will see the option here, WooCommerce Flying Cart. Click on it. And these are the basic settings of this plugin. And the settings of this plugin are very simple. Currently, we are on the appearance. These are the style settings of this plugin. Primary background color. Then we have primary text color, counter background color, counter text color. Then we have dark mode. We can also enable dark mode. Let me enable it. Uh, let's see if I click on save changes. Let's go back to website, refresh it. And you will see the dark mode of this card. All right, so I'm going to disable it. And if you want to change the color settings, you can simply select the colors according to your website requirement. Below that we have Ajax card loader and the add to card animation is set to tada so there are different animations and this is the cart icon currently i think this icon is selected you can change the icon if you want to upload the icon you can also upload the icon for the cart button if i close it this is the cart button icon currently selected below that we have the success notice color and the success notice text color and these are the error notice background color and the text color let's click on save changes now the dark mode is disabled let's go back and let's go to basic settings here so these are the basic settings cart type is floating box the second option is slide left or slide right let's select slide right then we have x axis offset and the y axis offset this is nothing but the padding around this button where do you want to show this button currently bottom right is selected you can also change it to bottom left hide cart when empty currently it is set to no so if there is no product in the cart it will not show the floating cart button currently it is set to no that means even if there is no product in the cart it will show that button in the bottom right hand corner display on mobile display on desktop and display by pages currently it is set to everywhere 
if you want to show this button on specific pages you can select the pages this button will be shown on those specific pages only if you do not want to show it on mobile devices you can simply uncheck this box then we have custom css and developer settings we have selected slide right so let's go back refresh it if i click on it you will see it is sliding right if i change it to slide left save the changes go back refresh it click on it and you will see it is sliding from the left side all right so i'm going to change it to floating box back to the default save it now let's go to flying card settings here we have card title which is your card let's close this refresh it if I click on it and open it, you will see this option here, your card. This is what it is written here. If you want to change the title, you can change it from here. If there is no product in the cart, it will show your cart is empty. Then we have open cart when product added to the cart, which is currently disabled. So if you enable this option, whenever you add a product in the cart, it will open the cart. Remove product links. You will see the product links are there if i disable it it will remove the product links hide the product images in the flying card you will see the image is there if you enable this option it is going to delete or it will not show the image in the flying card enable to hide the card total price at the bottom we have the total price if you enable this option it will hide the price let's enable this option Cart button will be cart, will go to cart, you will see it here. This is the button. If I click on it, it will go to the cart page. Checkout button and this is what it is written here, checkout. If you want to change it, you can change it. Let me save the changes first. We have checked this box enabled to hide the cart total price. Let's see how does this work. All right, so you will not see the total price here. Okay, now let's disable it and save it. Let me show you again. Let's refresh it. And you will see the card total price here. All right, now here we have card review. What do you want to show on the card page? Subtotal, coupon, shipping, fees, and total. So currently we have coupon, subtotal and total. There is no shipping fees. That's why it's not showing it here. If you have shipping and taxes on your WooCommerce website, it will show that here, All right? If you do not want to show everything, you can uncheck one by one. Then we have related products. You will see the related products here. You may also like. And currently it is set to number of products will be two. If you want to disable it, you can simply uncheck it and disable that option. And this is what it shows here. You may also like. And two products are there. If you have cross sales products, it will show the cross sales also. If you do not want to show, you can disable it from here. Number of cross sales products is set to three. You can change the number. And this is the text. It will show recommended products. So it will show below this related products. However, on this demo website, I do not have cross sales products. So that's why it is not showing it there. Show available coupons. You can enable or disable the coupon section. You will see it here. Show expiry date of the coupon and expiry date and text is there. There is any expiry date for the coupon. It will show it here. So you can see that the settings are pretty simple. Even if you keep it on default settings, those are also better settings. So if you want to add a floating card or the flying card button on your WooCommerce website, you can try using this plugin. The pricing is only $19. If you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.